Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss multiple choice questions on mass transfer operation, which are mostly related to humidification operation. If you know the answer of any question, please comment in the comment box. If you like my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, let's see the first question. The adiabatic saturation curve for a vapor gas mixture is Options are Option A Straight line Option B Slightly concave upward Option C Slightly concave downward Option D None of these So answer is Option B Slightly concave upward Now Next question Relative saturation is Options are Option A Lower than percentage saturation Option B Equal to percentage saturation Option C Higher than percentage saturation Option D There is no relation between them So answer is Option A Lower than percentage saturation Now, next question. Ratio of the partial pressure of the vapor to the vapor pressure of the liquid is known as Options are Option A. Humidity Option B. Saturated humidity Option C. Relative humidity Option D None of these So answer is Option C Relative humidity Now Next question the steady state temperature attained by a small amount of liquid evaporating into a large amount of unsaturated vapor gas mixture is called Options are Option A Dry bulb temperature Option B Adiabatic saturation temperature Option C wet bulb temperature option D dew point so answer is option C wet bulb temperature now Next question. The dew point of an unsaturated mixture of water vapor and air at constant temperature and pressure. Options are Option A does not change with change in absolute humidity. 
option b increases with an increase in absolute humidity option c decreases with an increase in absolute humidity option d decreases linearly with an increase in absolute humidity so answer is option b increases with an increase in absolute humidity now next question The cooling effect in a cooling tower can be increased by Options are Option A increasing the air velocity Option B lowering the barometric pressure Option C reducing the humidity of the entering air Option D all of these so answer is option d all of these now next question humid volume as the total volume of a unit mass of vapor free gas plus options are option a whatever vapor it may contain at one atmosphere pressure option b whatever vapor it may contain at one atmosphere pressure and at a gas temperature option c whatever vapor it may contain at one atmosphere pressure and at room temperature option d none of these so answer is option a whatever vapor it may contain at one atmosphere pressure now next question in the operation of cooling towers the term cooling range refers to the difference in the temperature of options are option a cold water leaving the tower and the wet bulb temperature of the surrounding air option b warm water entering the tower and the wet bulb temperature of the surrounding air option c warm water entering the tower and the cold water leaving the tower option d none of these so answer is option c warm water entering the tower and the cold water leaving the tower now next question if the temperature of atmosphere increases at constant absolute humidity the percentage saturation would options are option a decrease option b remain constant option c increase option d none of these
So answer is option A the crease. Now next question. If the temperature of the atmosphere increases at constant absolute humidity the wet bulb temperature would options are option a decrease option b remain constant option c increase option d none of these So answer is option C increase So that's all about important questions on humidification In the next video we will discuss another set of questions If you like my video please like my video Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel.